I have absolutely no idea if you're going to hear me over this thing. But hey, say hello to the chopper. Rocket, rocket, all of my rocket sauce. All of my fucking rocket sauce, all of my rocket sauce. Hey! This is a, um, it's a Harley Davidson 72. I may have made it too loud. Time will tell. But uh, yeah, it, it's awesome. I fucking love it. I've been waiting ages to try and ride it and it's been pissing down with rain. It, it's just, it's no good in the rain. One, there's too much chrome, too much shit to clean if it gets wet. And uh, two, the tires are shocking. They're like Harley Davidson branded Dunlops. And the first time I took this out in the wet, I almost crashed, so won't be doing that again. And I know the connotations of having a Harley Davidson and all that shit, but trust me, it's such an awesome machine. It, uh, I mean, I can't tell you how much fun it is to ride. This engine is ridiculous, the bike's ridiculous, but it just kind of works. And unfortunately, the only time I've got to ride it is uh, on my way to work, so this isn't going to be much fun, but... Well, actually, it's kind of fun once you get up into town, because I bet... And I'm not saying I go around to aggravate people, but I'm sure the sound of this thing will aggravate a lot of people. Um, here's a couple of pics of it so far. worn my sports bike helmet today so I can uh, do this little quick video. I don't know what the plan is with it. I mean, I picked up these Roland Sands uh, apes. I mean, they're quite an iconic, well, not iconic, but you know, the design is recognized as Roland Sands. Um, and I really like them because they're nice and skinny. The, uh, the lower struts of the handlebars are all in line with the forks, are pretty much in line with the forks, which I like, but I really like these 70s chopper looking things and this is a 72 and it'd be nice to just fuck about with it a bit more. I'm thinking about not raking the front yokes and adding maybe some 8 inch over fork tubes so it raised the front of the bike up considerably but then I was thinking about putting on some sort of, uh, I don't know, like 70s style handlebars. Not necessarily rabbit ears because they're a bit too narrow for me and I'd still like to be able to ride it. And not much else actually. I want to paint the rear fender black. I want to remove the front fender. And the rest of it kind of speaks for itself. I need to get some torque cones for this exhaust because hopefully it will quieten it down just slightly but also give me some low and mid-range power which I think is lacking a bit now that I've put these on. Because they really are straight through but it's really weird when you rev it it's almost, almost like it comes on cam or something. But it, it, it does feel like it's got a power band high end. I don't know if that's because I've lost power low end or gained more high-end because I fitted a Cobra Power Pro fuel controller to it which basically you don't need to load any maps on it it watches the bike or sorry it monitors the bike 80 times a second and adjusts the fuel to air ratio to suit so it's always running at the best fuel to air ratio mixture yeah you know there's no maps to tweak it's not for someone that wants the ultimate power but it just works you plug it in you don't have to worry about it, the engine's not going to get too hot, it's not running lean. It is eating a slight bit more fuel, but then it's going a shite sight faster. I don't know anyone else with a Harley, and everyone's giving me shit for it. Actually, I'm getting more... Am I getting more shit for this than the GS? Actually, do you know what? I don't think I am. I don't think I am. Everyone hates the fucking GS. But trust me, this thing is cool. I'll give it some beans when we get onto the A3, and then maybe I'll try and pick up this... Um, pick up this video back up in London somewhere. No grip, no grip. Hell, that backfiring. I've got some new exhaust gaskets on the way. I think it's leaking at the manifold. And the torque cones should help as well. I don't mind a bit of backfiring, but this is ridiculous. Fuck, 
loud, is it? To be fair, I, I think I'm a bit deaf from coming up the motorway. I should have put my earplugs in. Although that didn't stop some cunt pulling out on me. Yeah, so anyway, the plans are 70s style, I think. And uh, it doesn't really need to be comfy. I mean, the, the petrol tank runs out of fuel after about 65 miles. So you can imagine doing long distance on this is not the idea. This is the worst part of my journey up here, where it goes three lanes. Well, up there it goes three lanes into one at the top of the A3 here. So I just fucking sack it off and go this way. But if you've never ridden a Harley Davidson, a uh, heavy, slow, blah, blah. It's not that slow. I mean, the Sportster 1200, which is what this is, will do to 60 in what probably I think it's about 5 point 5 seconds something like, I think it's 5.6 seconds for the 883 actually so if you're talking four and a half seconds say for 1200 Sportster you know that's it's not slow it's not slow and this thing with the uh, big front wheel and everything it handles tremendously I'm not kidding and these uh, Ape hangers are genius for the motorway. It's so comfortable, you have no idea. And it's actually fucking really skinny. So you can sit at, say, 80 on the motorway with these bars, no screen, and you'd be absolutely fine. Do a little cheeky right here. And then this part of the journey is actually quite fun on the GS because of the jumps. Oh, I mean speed bumps. <laughs> Not so good on a fucking Sportster. Well, Harley Davidson have brought out a few modifications to the 2016 lineup. They've got the Street 750, which uh, I guess they're trying to encourage people to Harley Davidson because it's nothing like one of these. Well, apparently it's nothing like one of these. Water-cooled engine lighter and uh, a bit more power it sounds good I don't like the look of it at all but I don't know what market it's playing at oh it's A2 license compatible isn't it so it's sort of like that new uh, I can't think what it is the, the MT-07 that's on steroids like a bratty or scramblery type thing yeah you've got the scrambler in that someone who wants an urban bike with a bit of a badge not Ducati money. You know what these townies are like. Anyway, that's interesting. And they've updated the 883 iron and the uh, 48. And overall, do you know what it is? It's just a bit of fucking fun. I've been looking at a sports, not a sports sports bike, but um, a fast V-twin. Uh, yeah, right. I've been looking for a fast V-twin for a while. You know, like a VTR 1000 or something. But at the end of the day, the GS is a fucking... It's a quick bike. And I'll only be going faster on something like that. So, this is a hoon. You know, if you're doing 50 miles an hour, you're having a good time. And especially on the Bastards as well, that's the same thing. If you can get to 50 miles an hour, you're having a damn good time. I think that riding this, it's the enjoyment of being back to basics, you know? This, I mean, it's got fuel injection, yes. But, I mean, the brakes are a bit shit. The engine's ridiculous. I mean, it's just ridiculous. It vibrates like a motherfucker. Although not uncomfortably, it's just character, I suppose. The handling's okay, the suspension is shocking. Absolutely shocking. The seat is ridiculously uncomfortable. Like I said, the tank does you about 65 miles. The whole thing is ridiculous, but it's fucking awesome. I can't explain it, to be honest. I never, ever thought I'd own a Harley. Why is this little bit of bus lane not 
allowing motorcycles in. It's very aggravating. I if I can get down the middle of this lot. Maybe. Just. End of bus lane right there. I spent a weekend camping on the Wall Bastard last weekend, which was just so enjoyable. I haven't done it for about a year. I just haven't had the chance to get to any rallies. The last one I went to as well was on the KTM because um, my wife wanted to come and I needed some new head bearings on the Drifter, on the Bastard, so it's not really worth it. If you're going to take the wife on a bike, it better be in tip-top condition. But it was so nice to catch up with everyone and uh, just laugh like a schoolboy for the whole weekend and just you know be with like-minded people so if you can get into a I don't know how many of you are in bike clubs or anything but you do get a lot from it it's not just to do with that if you've never been in one or gone camping with a few fuckers you'll love it because the format is right you have you have the Friday off work then you ride to rally location, meet up with people en route if you can, tank it over there, and then just get, put your tent up, get pissed. Saturday morning, briefing, breakfast, and, uh, and then the ride out, which whoever's organized the rally in their neck of the woods also organizes the ride out for the Saturday. So you take you on about 100, 120 miles journey with nice stops in between. And it's so much fun riding with other people in that sort of way. You're not in a rush to get anywhere. You're just kind of cruising. You're not thrashing like you are on a sports bike or anything. Um, there's no racing or anything involved. We do the second man drop-off system at the lights and junctions and everything. And, um, you know, if you're at the back, back of the pack, or what have you, and you, you're sort of at the back of the pack and you get to a bit of a straight and everyone's running in front of you in formation. It's just fucking epic to see. Such good fun. Welcome to London. Anyway, that's enough of me babbling about bullshit. Uh, take it easy. Catch you next time. Oh, I'll tell you what. Um, get on Twitter or... Actually, do you know what I'm going to do? Get on fucking Instagram. I don't understand Instagram. Like, I put pictures on there. I don't know anyone. Uh, and it's shit. So it's Crotch Rocket, capital letters. Okay, Crotch Rocket, capital letters on Instagram. Crotch Rocket 666 on Twitter. And uh, if you're into Facebook, I think it's Crotch Rocket 3000. Facebook.com slash Crotch Rocket 3000. I'm going to uh, annoy the locals. Laters. <laughs>